VibeIsRealHypeRadio.com Flavor show on your airwaves What's happening? It's your big dog defunct Man, I tell you what It's Friday the 13th But we're still having fun in here And we're still having a great time This is the place to be Flavor show is in full effect Funny Fridays is on your radio right now And so here's how we do it every Friday, man I like to bring in somebody local I like to show love to my local talent I like to show love to those who show love to me Alright? So Here's how we do it. We bring in a local comic, either a local or a national featuring comic. It doesn't matter because it's Funny Fridays, and that's how we do it. Today, we have none other than, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, Paula Dicey Kai Howe. Paula Dicey Kai Howe is in the place to be. Thank you for coming, and welcome to the Flavor Show. Yes. Yeah. All right. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. You this shouldn't be first, nervous. Uh, radio appearance. Yeah? Yes. So I get to be I get to be the one who breaks your radio virginity, right? <laughs> Watch what you say now. My daddy's listening. Your daddy's listening. <laughs> What's up, Dad? How you doing? How you doing, Dad? It's all good. No, it's radio. That's the only thing, you know, that's the only reference I'm talking about. Dad. Don't come looking for me, all right? Please don't. You know, don't come looking for me. Especially yeah, we got the whole I we got the whole kingdom of Tonga. I was just about right to say now. that. Yes. Uh, and y'all are all big too. Real yes. big. Tall and big. So I'm cool, man. It's just one of me. It's just one of me. All right. So um, you like to do stand-up comedy? Yes. Oh, all right, that's good. I like to think that I'm very funny. Yeah. I'm very funny when I try to be. All right. Yes, I think so. All right, that's good. <laughs> um, how long have you been doing this comedy thing? Um, I've been doing stand-up comedy for two years. On on the twelfth next month. Yeah. Um, that will be my two-year anniversary. Really? Um, yes. Of hitting my very first open mic. Two years, huh? That's years. that's cool, man. Well, congratulations mm -hmm. on that, on your anniversary. Yes. I like I like <laughs> to hear that. Um, I like to hear people out there grinding and doing the damn thing, like you know, really seriously doing it. Um, now we were talking earlier a little bit off the air, and you were telling me that you hit a lot of open mics, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Now you told me you said, well, I only have one actual appearance and I'm like well wait a minute if you only have, how can you only have one appearance but you've been doing open mics for like two years oh, I mean that I counts can, to I can me. explain I can explain okay go ahead and explain <laughs> to the people okay so I started doing stand-up comedy in December of 2018 okay and then um, through April of 2019 mm -hmm. but then um, I took a break from comedy um, to focus on priority stuff. Um, oh, priorities. They always get in the way. They always get in the way of having a good time. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I didn't, I I took a whole year and a half hiatus off. I didn't actually start hitting mics again and writing jokes until September of this year. So that's, wow. So that's April of 2019 to September of 2020. Wow. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at math. Oh, I'm terrible at math too. Many, how many months away that is, but I would say that's a, yeah, that's um, a year and a half. Yeah, right about there. there, about yeah. a year and a half. And then um, in September of this year, I was just hitting open mics wherever we could find them, like, um, you know, wherever we can find them during times like this. Yeah. Which, you know, people are doing open mics in parks. Yeah, you know, open in mics like in parks, restaurant, right? Restaurant parking lots. Right. You know, like in the back of like. A bar right or <laughs> right outdoors. yeah anywhere yeah, they can could, pretty yeah. much do it I mean because of the fact of COVID you can't do it inside anymore so exactly. like how yeah. Laughs Unlimited is doing their thing you know outside yes. with the headphones with the headphones yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is I think that's dope you know honestly I think it's very creative mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I think they were, I believe they were the first to do the headphone things and um, I think um, some other people followed their example yeah. as well like yeah. the comedy Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay, that's nice. So, um, what made you want to do comedy? I mean, what made you say, hey, look, I want to I wanna do I wanna do this, I want to take a crack at it, I want to jump up there, grab the microphone, and make people laugh? Um, what drew me to stand-up comedy? Yes. Um, well, I'd say pretty much um, my whole life, I've, I've always been, I come from a big family, okay. which is... 
uh, something I see that's very characteristic of a lot of comedians who come from big families. Mm -hmm. you, know, you just gotta do the most and do extra to like get noticed. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, um, I'm the second of five children. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, I have two parents and four siblings who I water and feed regularly. You what? <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah, I've o I was always, I was always the goofy sibling. Okay. I was always the goofy cousin. Okay. I was always, I've just, yeah, I've always been a goofster. Me too. Example. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Not not in class though. A lot of people ask me, well, were you a class clown? I said, no, I wasn't really in class. I was really kind of quiet in class. I would get in my little digs here and there, but not like you know out and out class clownish you know <laughs> i don't know about yeah. you were you a class uh, clown the, um i was a clown but i wasn't a class clown because actually I'm, i was homeschooled oh okay all right so I there you go that's where it comes in at. i was yes i was a uh, home school okay yes. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good man um I, that's wild though because mm -hmm. now you're actually in school Mm -hmm. But not homeschool. Where are you going now? Um, I'm going to Sacramento City College. With okay. The intent of transferring to UC Davis. All right. Yeah, Davis is dope, man. I like Davis. I've done a lot of a lot of stuff out in Davis, and um, it's a party town. So be careful. Don't get, <laughs> don't get caught up in the parties because you know you can and you will sometimes. So be real careful. All right. I'm a good Christian child. I go okay. to sleep at nine thirty. And you I do? do my homework on time. Yes. You go to sleep at nine thirty. I go to nine. Uh, yes, I go to sleep at nine thirty. Every night. Yes, I do my homework. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I read my Bible. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> but I don't believe you go to sleep at nine thirty every night. <laughs> Every night. I mean, come on. Some nights you got to let it slide. You know, until like ten. I mean, come on. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I guess. I mean, if that if that's how you get down, then that's how you get down. Um, give me somebody. Let's see. Let's go three. Let's do three examples. Three examples of your personal best comics and comedians. Go. Um, my okay. My three um, biggest inspirations when it comes to comedy are. Yeah, you um, said it better than I did. Um. George Carlin. Okay. Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks. And Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. All right. That's cool. No Richard Pryor on your list? Oh, you said three. Oh, not, okay. Not 3,000. Oh, not 3,000. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, see, if, if somebody asks me three, Rich will be like number one. I don't, I mean, you know, but that's me. I'm old school, you know. You, how old are you? I'm 21. See, you're 21. See, so that's why I'm old school. That's, that's why, I, you know, Richard Pryor would be on the top of my list, you know. But that's good, though. I mean, your list is, is not wrong or anything. Your list is still banging. I, I like your list. Mm -hmm. Your list is hot. <laughs> um, so you said you recently had an appearance at the famous Laughs Unlimited here in Sacramento, mm -hmm. California. And how was that? It was, it was, um, I can't, how can I put it into words? I, the moment I stepped on the state, onto the stage, uh -huh. I was like, I can't believe I'm here. I looked, really? I looked behind me at the TV. There was like a little TV monitor and it had my name on it. And I yep. was like, I was just so awestruck. Like I forgot, like I momentarily <laughs> forgot, you know, the jokes that I had rehearsed. Yeah. And I, said, and I just, I just looked and I was like, oh my God, is that my name? That's my name. Yeah. That's yeah. my name that probably none of the people in this room can pronounce. Was it crowded? Um, it was crowded for a comedy club in a pandemic. Okay. All right. As no, as crowded as you can, you're allowed to be. I'll you give know? you that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. That's cool. So, fifty people. Um. You couldn't well, tell. Possibly. I mean, you had a it light was, in your face. You should, you should say, face. "I have a light in my face, oh, man." I couldn't tell. Face. Yeah. You know. But I, okay. I did bring a lot of people to the club that night. Um, I oh, brought, really? I brought my I brought my parents. Nice. I brought my younger brother. My younger sister. All right. I brought my friends. Um, shout out to um, my parents, um, Bo and Betha Kaihao. Okay. And, uh, shout out to them. 
my younger brother, Siaosi Kaihao, right. my younger sister, Havani, um, my two girlfriends who were there that night, oh. Marlene and Lena. Okay. And uh, who else? Um, other friends, Justice. Okay. And his sweet woman, Omni. Oh, wow. And uh, my other friend, Randy, who was there. And uh, yeah, it was just a shout out to some of the people who showed up there. You had a lot of people there supporting you. That's rare. It oh. really is. <laughs> because when you know, because when you first start, it's hard to get people there, especially if you can't get them in free. Mm -hmm. If you can't get them in free and they have to pay, most of the time they say, oh, hell no. I'm not coming to see you talk on the microphone and make a fool out of yourself and disgrace the family <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. still pay for it too. I'm not doing that. That's just yeah. not happening. But uh, at least Oh, my gosh. I, oh, I don't want to interrupt you. No, you could. I mean, <laughs> at, least, at least that's, you know, my experience. But... What were you saying now? Um, my younger brother, his name is Siaosi. He's Siaosi. Uh, That's a cool Siaosi. name. It is a cool name. It's Tongan for George. He's nice. named after our grandfather. Okay. Um, I brought him to the show to kind of act as my bodyguard. Really? Yes. And <laughs> I brought him. I even, um, I even brought him back to the green room with me. Okay. As, uh, it was funny because one of the comics they looked at him and was like, "Is that your husband?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and I was like, "No, that's my brother." So he must be a pretty big guy, huh? Yes, he's a big guy. He's, yeah. And um, I say I should stress that he's my younger brother, really? not little brother. How old is he? He's eighteen. Eighteen? Okay. So how many brothers do you have? Yes, the important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many like how many, how yeah. many male relatives do you have? Well, no, just rugby. <laughs> rugby. Wow. No, yeah. just brothers. Um, I have two brothers. I have oh, okay. an older brother. Um, he's we're all youngins. Um, my older brother, he's twenty three. His name is Tristan. A okay. Very very tall name. Really. Yes. I say he has. Yes, he has the most. Like my five siblings. There's Tristan. My younger sister, Havani, uh -huh. younger brother, Siaosi, and okay. then the youngest, her name is Tohuya. And yeah, I'd say my older brother, Tristan, he has the most Tongan name. Wow, wow. So Tristan. you brought all these people to Laughs Unlimited, and you said you almost forgot everything that you had written down, which happens. Yeah. You know, it happens a lot. Um, it's happened to me countless times. And not just because there's been a lot of people there or people I brought there or because I saw my name up. It's just because I forgot probably because I had been drinking that night <laughs> or I had been drinking bef before the show or actually on stage I was drinking. So, you know, that's what oh, happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it happens. I must give it. I did have, I did have a, sh a few shots of um, Henny for courage. Oh, see? I went out. That's what I'm talking yes, about. That's, that's what, what yeah. Shout out to my girl Elisa for hooking it up with the courage. Yes. Gotta day. have it. Gotta <laughs> have it, man. But I mean, I would have my shot of Hennessy on stage with on me. Stage. <laughs> with me. You know, me and Henny, man, we, we had some good times on, on that stage at Laughs Unlimited. Now, this, <laughs> this was before the stage was where it is now. It used to be in the corner. Oh, I, I've, um, my, my show weeks ago that uh -huh. was my first time ever being inside laughs unlimited yeah actually. yeah i figured so that's why i had to let you know it used to be in the corner right and it's such an odd decision for it to be in the corner like. yeah but it was my 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 good friend in comedy um stand-up comic guy who i used to go on the road with a lot rick polito he built the stage rick polito? yeah rick polito built the old stage uh laughs unlimited and if you get a chance do some research on it and you'll see the old stage at Laughs Unlimited, and it's actually pretty cool. Now, the new stage is dope. I like it, and I like the fact that they put your name up because they didn't have that before. Oh, they didn't have that before? No, they didn't have that before. They didn't put your name up before, but now they do, which is, you know, I think pretty dope. Um, so, where's your next show at? Um, my next show is to, um, oh, 
by the way, guys, um, if you hear me a little out of breath, uh -huh. it's not because I have the virus. It's oh. because I had a fish fillet McChicken and large fries for dinner <laughs> because I'm Tongan and we just, that's what we do. That's how you get down? That's how we get down. I've been having McDonald's for dinner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, oh, what was I saying? Your next show. Oh, my next show. Um, my next show is, uh, it's a little in the air right now. I saw it's up in the air. Virus, because um, uh, Sacramento was just declared a purple tier. Yes. County, yes. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what the state of it is like. Uh, okay. So, are you gonna get down at an open mic then? Yes, I think um, until uh, something comes up, I'll just hit open mics and practice. Have you done Vince's? Yes, I've done Vince's. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that tonight, but um, it's raining. It, it is raining. Um, I hit Vince's, and then my other favorite open mic to hit, it's actually not in Sacramento, it's in Chico. Oh. It's, um, at a, it's at a bar called The Lab. The Lab. And it's, um, it's hosted by a friend of mine, his name is Dylan Collins. Who's okay. He's a really, really good comic. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, that's, that's actually my favorite open mic to be hitting. Right really? Now. Yeah, but, like, um. It's, it's a bit of a, I don't really have like a car, so I just okay. try to catch rides up to Chico. Like yeah. They have it every Thursday night, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just, usually every Thursday night, I'll catch like a ride with um, whichever sack comic is going out there. That's so, usually how it's done. Yeah. That's how it's done. You catch a ride and two or three people or four, um, sometimes five even, will jump in the same car and just hit like four or five open yeah, mics. Yeah, like five, they'll... Yes, there'll be a car full of five comics yep. headed to Chico. Yep. And you know what that means. There's five comics and four of them will have a suspended license. Yeah. Or just UI, or <laughs> UI or some crazy or something. Or some crazy. They yeah. got up and somebody went a little too crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Um, we're going to get into some new, more music here in just a few minutes. Um but uh, I just wanted to introduce you to everybody because uh, you know my, my audience loves to hear funny, new, and up and coming comics um, do their thing, mm -hmm. you know, on the air. And I'm just happy that you could come and bless us today with your presence. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get back into some some music, and then we're gonna come back and do some more. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. HyperRadio.com, Flavor Show on your airwaves. This is Funny Friday, and we got who's in the house? Paula Dicey Kai House. All right. The one and only. The one and only. There you go. Put the, put it on there, girl. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. The what? The one and only. There you go. That's right. That's how you got to do it, man. Let them know. Mm -hmm. All right. HyperRadio.com, Flavor Show on your airwaves. <laughs> 